My friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Happy Friday. It is Friday, it is Friday. And I'm hoping for sun today. After a few days of rain, I'm ready for sun. <laughs> so what's our topic for today? Found on your calendar, which you can download below. Uh, topic of the day is bindings because I have 800 bindings to do. Not really 800, you know that. 800 is my magical word to cover all excesses of things. But I definitely, my brain is like scattery right now. Right now I just want to go do this and go do that and I'm not finishing the things that are sitting here that are going, you know, because that's, that's sometimes boring. Like binding can be boring. So I'm committed today to binding on the pink jelly snowflake and I thought I would show you that I had this on the wall the other day, so you probably didn't get a good look at the quilting on it. So I want to show you it. I call it the pink jelly snowflake because I used the Dear Christmas line and paired it with that pretty, pretty pink. So here you go. Let me see. You should be able to see there's some big, big, big snowflakes. I'll hold it up like this. There you go. <laughs> this is quilted by Cindy and Dennis. I just love it. Great, great big giant snowflakes. So this one definitely, I put my Morrison Park on the back. So I put this one and I am going to use the red Jingle Bell fabric. Where is it? So you can see I have enough of that one. The red Jingle Bells. Oh, I'm stepping on it. No, no, it's caught. There you go. So the red, the red Jingle Bells are what I am going to use to do the binding. And I have that. So no, I don't have a hanging sleeve and a label, of course. <laughs> so this will uh, be, this will be what I do today. So I'm gonna bind this one today and then it'll be all ready. Uh, the other one that I've had sitting in here because I really want to do the binding on it is my dear Jane, my baby Jane, the alphabet Jane. So whoop, here we go. So. Dear Jane's a quilt this uh, book that's been out a long time based on a Civil War quilt and I did uh, some of the blocks, not all of the blocks, and then I paired them with my alphabet which you can find on my website. Uh, so I was debating because at first I thought, well this is what I planned, I would use this as the binding, my gray Bonnie Lane uh, fabric I would use as the binding. but. I just kept thinking I really want to put a stripe on here, it's something a little bit different. Um, so I ordered a piece. So when that comes, I will use I will use that if it looks okay. If it doesn't look okay when it comes, then I will go back to the gray. Uh, so this one won't get done this weekend by any means, but it's still gonna it's gonna go back over there. Plus I have another one. Well, I have probably ten quilts. <laughs> if I'm lucky, it's just ten quilts I haven't counted lately uh, that need binding. So I will maybe after I do the jelly snowflake, I will go get one of those. Okay, so let's let's segue. Um, we have socialites today, so don't forget. So stay stay. Hold on, hold on. I will do the jelly snowflake. I mean, I will do the socialite, but I want to show you something on the jelly snowflake about what I'm going to do with the zigzag table runner from yesterday. And thank you everybody for your patience. My, the company that my website is with uh, had some technical issues, of course, when I tell you to go download something. But I mean, pictures were not coming in on all of the platform, on all the companies that use them. So uh, they worked on it and they eventually got it fixed. It just took a little time. Okay, so this is pink. And I have, I'm gonna make the zigzag runner with the Santa Claus. Remember I showed you yesterday the cute, cute, cute Santa Clauses. So I'm debating now whether, so I have a little bit darker pink. It's not as pale as this one. I don't know if I have enough pale pink. I'm gonna go look and see if I have enough of this. Otherwise I could use that or I could use the blossom, which then I could do pink squares. So like if I did this one, I would pull all the pinks out of the, of the charm pack. So let me just show you what's in here. Uh, cute pink, but see if I did, if I did the white, then I could use the pink charm packs, squares. If I do pink, I could use the white backgrounds because the white backgrounds are just gonna disappear on here. They're not, it's not, it's not worth it. So 
So which do you like? Do you think I should do the pink? Of course, these are not going to be right next to each other at at all. This is going to this will be with these guys on the table. And see here's look at that. I don't know. I may have to go hunt on Etsy for that stripe. And then there's the red, red and pink. There's like the whoop snow for the um poinsettia. So I don't know. If I do the red, the white, it'll go with like I have a white Christmas tree. I mean, my, I have an artificial tree and it's white, and I have um, sort of a cream color um, tree skirt, and then of course I have the bring home the Christmas tree, which has a which has a white background with tiny pink dots on it. So I've got a lot of pink and red this year for decorating. So let me know in the comments. Uh, what you think? Whether I should go with the the green, the um, the white with the little red blossoms, or whether I should go with the pink table runner. So this is just for the table runner. Decisions, decisions, decisions. But this I want to make right away. So hurry up and leave me a comment <laughs> so I can decide. You know, I don't want I don't want to wait around. After I do the binding on this one tonight. I may just go ahead and do, start the table runner because I'm itching, 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 itching to be doing something new. Uh, isn't that weird? Because I'm always doing something new, but I just get, I get my, I, I get an idea in my head that I'm like, this is going to look so cute, and then I want to make it right away. I bet you can relate. <laughs> so our, let me switch this around find my chair so I don't fall on my butt. Okay, so we have the socialites block and today is soulful. So this is actually a really pretty block. I think it's, it sort of reminds me of something that's windblown, which is of course very perfect I think for the fall with the, the leaves and everything. And I've got it on my uh, book holder. So this is the fabulous book holder that I think everybody should own and you should send one to all of your friends. All, and you have gifts. Everybody should have one for a gift. I'm going to order one so for some of my uh, family because you can also put um, a tablet in there, you know, that kind of a thing. So, you know, for your phone, your phone sits on there really nice. I use it when I'm doing my wrist exercises so that I can, if I want to put my phone there, my tablet has a stand of its own. But uh, my phone doesn't. I don't use those knobs on the back or anything. So it works really good for my phone. Uh, so I just put it there. So this is your block for the socialite. And I put a link over to Kimberly's um, uh, YouTube showing her making the block. She takes you through the process A to Z. So if you are interested in watching that, uh, she does uh, take an hour to show it to you, but she's talking about, she gives you other tips along the way. I actually watched it yesterday because she was, she's on travel today on Friday, so she did it on Thursday. And so if you've never watched her make one of the socialite blocks, you know, you might enjoy it. I mean, she shows you different colorways because they have a bunch of people doing them. Um, she's actually doing th three full quilts, so this, each of the one in each size, and two of those she will... Um, put up for auction for make a wish and then uh, she's actually going to make she's making a fourth set of blocks as the demo and those she's going to make a table runner and then she's going to pick up the next uh, group of blocks in a different fabric line uh, so she's making these blocks a lot of these blocks <laughs> a lot <laughs> I think she was making these the I think she was making the six inch size yesterday on the video, but it doesn't matter. The technique of it is the same, but she gives you some little tips along the way, so you might enjoy that. Okay, so I have to give you an update. I figured, I figured out how to use this, how to put the easel. I'm such a dork. I just thought this was just so obvious that I didn't even try it out before I got it out of the package to show you. That was my first getting out of the package, and then I get nervous and I don't want to try to read the directions while I'm on you know, re recording this because I don't do any editing. So I'm like, oh, I'll just put it away. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> I'm so crazy. So these are the little chalkboard plates that come. And then you get the two legs, which are not to go onto the chalkboard. They're go, they make an easel. So they're, they make the easel 
and then you put the chalkboard on it. So these are really cute. They're super nice for uh, all kinds of things that you want to do, like maybe for your guild, you might want to have little place cards along like an event that you're doing to show people like what's going on at each station. You might do it for a picnic to show what the food is that's there, you know, so people know whether maybe something might be non-dairy um, or you might have a dish that people are always asking about, like this is the pie, you know, that kind of a thing. I think that'd be so fun. Birthday parties. Um, and I know we're not doing a whole lot of those big events right now. Well, we're not probably, you shouldn't be totally doing any, but <laughs> it's like, you know, they're, I think they're, they're really fun. And I wanted to be able to show them to you uh, from the, it's a, it's a small family owned business, just like mine. Um, they were so nice to write me because one of you had bought the stickers and said that you watched my video or heard about it from me. And so they wrote me to thank me, which I thought was so nice. Um, and then they sent these, these along. So very cool. All right, on my website today, which is the link below, you can down, you know, get the link to download your socialite block if you didn't get it yet. Um, I also have a link to some Christmas um, movies. I found on National Public Radio, uh, their website, a list of Christmas, happy Christmas music, movies, 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 got to get the right M word. Uh, so I put a link to that. So you might go over and find that. And if you read the link and then tell me which ones are good ones, <laughs> if you've watched them, say, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> So remember our upcoming things, I do want to keep reminding you, and I have another question. So the um, Elephant Pattern by my friend Wendy Shepard, we're doing at the end of December because we're waiting for Morrison Park to come in. Uh, so that those of you who want to make it just like I am, just like Wendy's with Morrison Park, she did it for my fabric tour. Um, the fabric will be in probably by the end of November to order. Uh, <clears throat> but the patterns are available now, so if for some reason you want to use your your fabric that you already own, <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> and then we're gonna do a jelly roll this month into December because you know I want something else to sew. I think it'd be super fun. I haven't sewn with my own jelly roll yet or this is a two and a half inch strip set is what they call it at Benner Techs for the Morrison Park and these, you can get these right now. Um, and I picked two different patterns that I'm deciding on. So I still haven't quite decided. Um, I'm debating because this one's actually kind of nice. I like, there it is. I like that it, you, know, you put all the strips together like that. Um, but this is also really cool because it can be sort of just like blocks. So, well, this one actually ends up being blocks too. This is what it looks like. These patterns are free. So, uh, but there, you know, you're making a block. So now I'm leaning more towards this one. <clears throat> but either way, you can pick the one you like or another one. I'll link you to all the free jelly roll patterns. But what I can't decide is the background. So I'm thinking of doing something a little bit different. Tell me what you think of this. So I have got, here, here's the Morrison Park, here's the Morrison Park. And here's my background, which would be awesome. You know, it would be really fun. I'd love to do that with the light background. But then I thought, well, what if I did a blue? So I have this um, solid, blue solid, and it actually pops all the blues so I would not have to stop using any of the, because use all the blues from the line. And so now I'm leaning towards this one. And I'm thinking, like see if I made this quilt, I'll show you on the back. So if I made that quilt, you know, there would be a lot, the blue would be very um, dominant. You know, if I made, if I made this this design because all of that light space would be blue so it'd be very very it would be a blue quilt um, now if I made this one I'll show you the so if I made that one it would have a totally different kind of feel because the blue is just sort of like an accent then it is not it, it, each block is um, not going to well, here's how the block is made yeah so each block is like this uh, so you don't really have quite that same impact of the blue. So tell me what you think about that too. Tell me if you like that blue. So we're, not, we're having to know like, what are you gonna bind today? And if you don't have any binding to do, do you have one coming up? Make the binding for it. Uh, if you don't have one coming up, go do something with your binding scraps or you just get a free day to sew something else. Um, then tell me for my jelly roll, do I do the pink? 
uh, with the, with, I'm not sorry, with the jelly oil. Tell me with the charm pack, do I do the pink um, background or the white with the red um, little flowers? And what background do I pick for the jelly roll? Ah, so many things. And then go to the website and see the list of Christmas movies. Uh, they're, they're, you have to click over to it then because it's a longer list. I, didn't, I just copied a few in so you could see them and then you could click over and see the rest. So, okay. <laughs> Thank you, my friends, for being here, for using all of our links. Greg and I are so appreciative. Um, everything is down below. So I love you. Mwah. Happy Friday. See you online.